Hey guys, I'm back and we're going back to open TTD. But this time, uh, I've got to tell you guys something first. So, last time I played this, I actually... Uh, I actually played this whole thing a while, like a few days ago. But realized that the recording didn't save itself. So I didn't save it in the first place, so... But I do know some things. For example, this, uh, steam train over here, we're immediately ditching it. Because, uh, the cost for running it is, uh, 16,616 a year. So, we're gonna ditch the engine in favor of an Alco S2, which is a diesel, which is okay, I guess? But the diesel is conveniently just a little cheaper at a running cost of 15750 a year. All of our loans are paid off. So we can afford having trains. Ah, dang. We're out of money. Go force my train or something. I don't know. But there it is. Alco S2. We'll load up on the coal. And it'll be able to hold more. Over here, I've thought about connecting these lines, but judging by the fact that I just spent a ton of money on an Alco S2 and more freight cars, I don't exactly believe that's the greatest idea. Yeah, oh, train master. Let me just turn the volume down. Yeah. So I actually want to get a train master at some point for a coal mine line to a, uh, from like a transfer facility to a coke oven. Because uh, the Tennessee Valley Authority just transferred their train master. Well, technically it was a baby train master. But they transferred it to a railroad museum in Tennessee. And it's like the last of its kind. Only a few train masters survive. I think there's one in Canada, and this is the one baby train master. But they're planning to restore it into its former colors and stuff. I think it's going to look nice. I really don't know. I'm no expert. Yeah, I like this gray better. Oh, well, let's go look for some industries or something. I don't know. Something that'll get, put a little more interestingness. In, no, not interestingness. That's not a word. Let's put some more interesting aspects of our operations. For such a large lake, I'm surprised there's no ports or anything involved. But what do you make? You make sand and limestone, which can go to blast furnace, glassworks, engine plant, and our lime kiln. So, are there any of those nearby? No. But where do you go? I can just bring food into the houses. Let's go find a place that can accept that. Or preferably a, a general store. I'm sure there's at least one of those hanging around. Not there. Not there either. There is one here. That's something I'll deal with. I'm not sure if it would be cheaper to run a car, not a car, a truck from here to the general store, but, or if it'll be cheaper to run a train line. We'll keep that in mind. 
Newcastle up here does have the S2 line going to it. But it's not connected to the passenger network in any way, shape, or form. That's a little weird. So I think I'll connect that before we do anything with the uh, other line. I think this will be a good place as I need to place down one of these. Just a tile platform. Nice little passing siding set up here. Because we're going to need that. Let's get another RDC. Actually, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with the doodle bug. All right, we're gonna need more money before we go with the doodle bug. You should have enough once the coal train does its job. Now we got a doodle bug. So at Hillsdale to Newcastle. Back to the depot. Hmm. Steam whistle. Why am I not surprised? I'm a bit surprised that they do have the yellow fronts. I mean, I think there are some railroads that had, like, yellow-fronted, uh, units. I mean, I know CSX has the yellow nose schemes, but, and the Union Pacifics are just gigantic beacons of yellow. But I didn't know of any passenger trains that really had yellow fronts, like Doodlebugs or RD RDCs that had, like, the yellow warning stripes. They just, they don't. I don't really know of any that had it, but, uh, some of you might, but, uh, it's just a game. And I suppose that was the commuter trains, which I'm going to rename these to commuters, because... Regional sounds more European. I know that they're real here, too, but commuter just sounds better. I could probably replace you guys with doodlebugs. For the sole purpose of just lowering running costs throughout the fleet. There. We'll replace you guys now versus later. That'll slow passenger service down throughout the fleet, but it shouldn't cause any significant disruptions. S2's trundling along as usual. Making a good sum over at the coal facilities. Go 
got a general store down here. And what appears to be a high school, but that's not my concern. Do we have a train that goes from down here to up here? Stanley, only one train, so it doesn't look like it. But that would be a major disappointment if we didn't have some some form of service. But if we're not using this line now, I suppose I'll just tear it up because don't actually really want to add a train going up and down yet. I know I'll probably regret this decision later, but... It's not really something I, can wor I need to worry about right now. Something I would like to worry about right now is connecting the coal line to the uh, the passenger mains. I know, like, there's no train going there. Actually, I just threw away a line because I'm not going to use it. Why would I build another one? This is, this is counter-logical, or whatever that word is. I should actually look for more opportunities. Like Lakeside over here. Little town, middle of absolute nowhere. But I'm sure they would appreciate a train service. And if they don't, I will make them appreciate it. I mean, the fact that they will, their tourism business will boost like tenfold. Because for some reason, people want to come visit this tiny town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's going to be pain in the rear. Try and get it across the river. What's the lowest cost we can get? And we have no money. I mean, I suppose we could hold off on Lakeside for now. Till we have a little more cash in the bank. Where does this end up? Right there. So. Oh, new, new vehicle. Alright, there. We'll build you... in some time. Uh, the doodle bug must be coming back. And there's already lots of people here. Might have to extend it. The doodle bug. I'm sure this train would be even cons not considered commuter. Right, here comes the freight. The cool thing I learned about the trains in NARS is that with these switchers, if you turn them around mid-journey, it will flip the locomotive regardless, like if it was in a terminal station or not. Like, well... It would flip the locomotive just like if it's in a terminal or not. Cool little feature that I can appreciate. Alright. There's the bridge. Now we just gotta save up money. Never mind. I'm just gonna go find that doodle bug. Alright. Once you head to Newcastle. Well, right after you head to Newcastle, hit Lakeside, will you? 
And to cope with this, uh, increased services, head back to the depot. I'm gonna get you, uh, some new, another car. Heavyweights, those are gonna take a little bit. But I suppose it won't take much longer if that thing gives yields more than 2,000. Ah, you failed. Yeah, I could just attach one of those, but I want a heavyweight. Because this will... Yeah, because this is not going to help cope with the increased demand. There. Go get a doodle bug. There. Oh, we're in debt. Oh, wait, this doodle bug will probably fix it. It fixed it. Well, we could flip another doodle bug to add more tractive power. But why would I? This train's just going along nicely. You know, this will be our, be our first, uh, long distance. You can probably guess that I've spelled this out a lot in my open TTD groupings by the autocorrect, be the auto suggest being ready to pick it. Sure, we've taken a while, though. Almost at Newcastle. Are there any industries nearby? That I... right, where did you guys go? Blast furnace, tire plant, carbon black plant. Uh, okay. Right, nothing over here. Let's just head back to the, to the map. I guess there's another coke oven up there, yep. The farm. Wait, what are you up here on Lakeside? Oh, there's a soda ash mine. Off to a glass works. So is that a farm up there? Is that a coal mine over there? Yeah. There's a coal mine over here. I could possibly, if I had enough money, ship that over here. But that's a long journey. Real long. Anything closer? It's a quarry. Qu quarry. Jeez. Are there... There's three of them within, like... View range. Like... You don't have to leave much. You. You a body plant? No. Junkyard. That's not going to be helpful. Alright. I think our best bet is this farm over here. Oh, getting it through the field is going to be a pain in the rear. Without causing too much local authority injury. We do have trams. That's nice. I am playing on an outdated set of new GRFs by my standard. Like, my, uh, I have another NARS game going, but this, that one's personal, not a video-worthy one. It's, well, my other NARS set is better. Jeez. This farm is gonna bankrupt me. Gotta get it to Lakeside somehow. Alright, that's enough to build the truck stop there. Use the town's roads to my advantage. Alright, coal train, can you... What's wrong with you? You can make it to Lakeside. Turn around. Hopefully it figures it out. 
Why can't you make it to Lakeside? Is there a problem? Is something broken? Something is broken. There, I fixed your Lakeside route. Oh, back up! You're going the wrong way! Now you're going the right way. Wasting potential time. Alright. Take advantage of the road already being built for you here. Alright. I want to get a vehicle depot set up here when I can. Then I could probably attach a tr thing to the doodle bug. And I could bring the stuff back. Food. I've been realizing more and more how I don't like to have to use these courier trucks, the Roadhog. I mean, it's a good new GRF, but it's just stuff like, uh... Mop Extended just works better for me. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of money, so... And these courier trucks, because they cost... They cost so much. can't exactly afford them right now. Ah, oh, I can afford that. Pop over to Lakeside Barns. Do you accept food? Nope. Oops. Dang it. Lakeside Farms. Lakeside. Lakeside Depot. Full load over there. Where's the doodle bug? Alright, once you make your stop, I'm gonna order you to head back to the depot. And I'm gonna equip you with some a freight car so you can bring food back to Hillfdale. Get him stopped there. Don't want to waste money on running cost until I have a reason to move it. Doodle bugs. These things still aren't being sent to the depot for being replaced by doodles. What are your maintenance interval? 150 days. Wondering why these guys don't go back. There you go. You accept food. That I can work with. There's the doodle bug. Hillsdale Waypoint. Are you the one that needs that? Yeah. Oh, it's because of your tricky little endeavor. You know, I'll just figure out an alternate way so we don't have to carry that waypoint around. There. There. Happy now, which means I can pop you away. I can pop this away and that and that. Mm, I'm not gonna say mission accomplished. Okay, here comes our doodle. But, uh, that could have been a catastrophe there. I don't like when trains get gridlocked. All right. Food. Mail car? No. Heavyweight mail car. Yes. 
Go get him. Probably taxing the heck out of the Doodlebug's equipment. Like a... I doubt it was rated for pulling this much. But... What needs to be done? Oh, wait, you... Get over there. No, not the stores. Load over at Hillsdale now. Oh. Uh, dude, dude, having a hard time getting up to speed. Should put something bigger on the front end. Like, I don't know. That's right. I'm looking at you. It's very hard to see the actual colors on those things. I'm gonna go back to the cream for a sec. Right. Basically, the whole color scheme of my company here depends on if I like it on the S2. And up brown. White boring. Inch? Nah. We're sticking with gray, I guess. Just, it's okay. Instead, we will follow the doodle bug on it. Treacherous journey. Once this thing makes its first delivery of food, I think that's where I'm going to cut it off. Because that's a good stopping place I've ever seen one. Thing got any food on board? Nope. That's a disappointment. Let me guess you have food right now. Yes, you do. You. Turn around. You are going to go get that food. And you are going to like it. something. Dark green. Ooh, that's W1200. FP9s. Jeep 9s. Took them long enough. Yeah. Seriously, it's 1956. The GP9s were Oh, wait, no, that's the TP7, so I think they actually might be on time. I completely don't know. Alright, I think that looks kind of cool. I mean, that's more of, like, the Burlington Northern Green, right? Yeah, I think that's, like, that Burlington Northern Green. Like, they were more... Yeah, they were light green versus, like, a dark green. I 
sure have seen like a light blue train though. Because the current CSX ones are like... They're not even this dark blue, they're like a dark blue gray. This green, it's kind of cool. It's like a... Completely forget what I'm supposed to say about that. But who cares? Get back to the doodle bug. And you guys need to hurry up. And, you know, replace already. Trying to make money here. Not gonna replace the S2s with SW1200s yet. Because that running cost just can't be beat. Wait, wait, wait. Freight train running cost is only 4000 a year? Hold up. You mean that that's only something isn't right? Oh, oh, it's fixed now. Whew. Thought I was getting like a cheap version of that, which was I doubt would be fun. All right. Food delivery made. I think that's a successful run today. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching, and uh, obligatory like and subscribe.